Hi, and welcome to the sixth installment of the Stretch Your Sketch class, hosted by Two Peas in a Bucket and taught by Jen Gallagher. I'm a garden girl here at Two Peas, and I'm going to show you this month's sketch. This month's sketch is a 12 by 12 sketch. It indicates a large photo on a 12 by 12 sheet. And I'm going to show you how you can stretch this sketch a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is add our adhesive to the pattern paper we're going to use at the top. And just like this sketch, we're going to adhere it to the side. And I've pre-stitched this particular paper because it's just easier than trying to show you on the sewing machine. When you stitch pattern paper, it works just like fabric. So if you're familiar with machine stitching fabric, then you can use that as well. Then I'm going to add some Bow Bunny craft colored paper. And then at the very bottom, this is some Echo Park Dots and Stripes pattern paper. Now, one fun thing that I've done is I'm going to use a transparency from Hambly, which I've pre-cut. When you are using transparencies, you need to kind of pre-plan where you want your adhesive to go and make sure that you use a clear adhesive. Because this has a wood grain, you can't see where I'm putting the adhesive and I put a long strip which will hide just behind this orange pattern paper. Alright, so one way that you can stretch this sketch is that instead of doing the entire thing in one color, I've broken it up into components. This is yellow, this is the brown, and this has turned into the orange. Now another thing I'm going to do to stretch this sketch, instead of one large photo, I'm going to use three smaller photos. And I'm just going to adhere those to the page. I print from home. I have a Canon printer and it seems to work just fine. Um, you can also print ahead by using wallet size prints if you prefer that. But printing at home is great for special sizes. Um, when you're designing, think ahead. I have two boy pictures and one girl picture. And so I'm going to balance the girl picture with the boys. Or as my children would say, she's now boy trapped. That's something they say at school. Okay, so you can see I've stretched it by doing the photos differently. Okay, now we're going to add the journaling. I pre-printed the journaling on craft pattern paper, uh, craft cardstock, and I'm just going to ink the edges with some brown stamping ink. Here's a little tip. When I got this brown stamping ink, it was a little bit too dark, and so I left the lid off for about an hour, which kind of dried up the ink pad, but toned down the color a little bit. That's one of my um, tips for getting the exact ink color that you want. Just add some photo corners. You can die cut these, you can hand cut these, however you like. And then this is a strip from Pebbles. We're just going to add the border to the bottom. And I pre-cut all the pieces so that this will move more quickly. This is cut with scallop scissors or we have lots and lots of different border punches in the two-piece store. And I love, love, love border punches. They're something that I collect quite a bit of. Okay. All right, so I want to show you something fun. This is to match instead of the circles. What we're going to stretch is this is actually a card from Doodlebug. And we are going to actually adhere this underneath our layout. I love these cards. I just think they're so cute. And you could actually add additional photos in here, or you could do um, hidden journaling, or you could just do what I've done and just kind of use it like a tab. Let us strip at the top. This is some American Crafts ribbon, and I love this double-sided sticky tape because it's perfect for things like this. Um, it looks like it's red, but when we pull off the backing, it will turn clear. And this is a great adhesive for a ribbon. And this ribbon actually stretches just a little bit. So I'm going to adhere that to 
the adhesive and then just use some fabric scissors to trim off the excess ribbon. Okay, these are from Girls Paper Re, and I just thought they were beautiful, so we're going to use those on our page. And we are highlighting texture in this particular class this month, and the crepe paper texture is a beautiful addition to your page. And the colors in this particular line inspired all of this page. So you can see that instead of the stars and a bunch of little, two rows of little things, I've done one big border. And now I'm going to add the brads. I recommend getting some kind of a paper piercer. It just is so much easier to use. And then you can punch through a mouse pad or a foam pad or whatever you want. And I'm going to add an additional texture here. These are American Crafts Corduroy Brads. I love fabric covered brads. I just think they're so beautiful. So that's another way to add texture. Okay, and while I have my foam pad out, I want to do some stamping. This is a Hero Art stamp. It says, you mean so much to me. I'm going to pick it up. And then I'm going to take a page from Nicole's class and st add stamping to my layouts. Be sure to check out Nicole's classes. They are just amazing. She is just a phenomenal scrapbooker. Okay, so now one way that I'm going to alter and stretch this sketch again is instead of doing the title over here in additional journaling, I've pre-cut this label, which actually is like this, on the dots and stripes sticker sheet and I'm going to I pre-cut it so I could do this quickly but I'm going to actually add this right here at the top of the page upside down because I thought it was kind of cool upside down so let's get that straight okay and now I have pre-cut with my silhouette machine this very fragile die cut and look how small that is that's one reason why I just love the Silhouette Machine is because you can cut delicate titles. And again, I'm using my Zig glue pen. There's a Martha Stewart glue pen in the store as well. I really recommend this kind of adhesive for fragile and thin die cuts. And we'll go ahead and add that to the sticker. And then I also have this little button that I have added twine to. We have lots of twine. Um, be sure to check out Divine Twine's selection. Every color imaginable. And then I want to dress up this just one with one more little thing on this crepe paper circle. And these are also from the Girls Paper Read line. And you want to stick them right into the foam sticker on the back. That's right on the back of the crepe paper. And then for this border, we're going to add this little um, Remembered By sticker from October afternoon, and that will go right on our Doodle Bug folder card. Okay, so there you have the sketch. You can see that I've changed the title and eliminated the top journaling. Instead of the big photo, I went with three small photos. Instead of several rows, I went with one big dynamic row. I stretched the journaling a little bit. It's obviously a little bit fatter. And then instead of circles, I've used a doodlebug card. Be sure to download the downloadable PDF. And for additional instructions and photos, visit twopeasinabucket.com.